Hey guys, it's Paul. Another quick lesson today. We're going to talk about uh, the WordPress plugin for Discourse, um, so you can you can sync it with your Discourse forum, your WordPress website, your blog, and you can post um, comments on your blog uh, or comment. You can post a link to your WordPress post that then embeds the the uh, comments from the forum. So instead of having WordPress core comments, you now get uh, discourse comments from your forum on your blog. I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to come to this page, WordPress plugins, Word, WP-discourse, right? I'll put a link to it in the training. I'll put a link to it in the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. We're going to download this plugin. Um, I've obviously got my website and I've got my forum and I'm going to like in any, I'm guessing it. I'm guessing that you know how to upload a plugin to uh, WordPress. But if you don't, go to WordPress, log into your admin, go to plugins. I've got some updates I need to do. Dare I update that while I'm uh, live? Yeah, that's all right. Uh, add new. You're gonna want to do a backup just in case it crashes, just in case uh, your site falls over, as it can do. If you don't do backups, I mean, you may be all right, but check out your backup system before you do this. So anyway, I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new, upload plugin. I'm gonna go grab that file, WordPress uh, discourse, install it, right? Activate plugin, I'm just gonna let that, my page load again fully. Activate plugin and WordPress discourse, right? Now I've got a discourse tab here. I'm gonna to go to all options, let me just grab that. And then it's going to say, what is your discourse URL? So where is your discourse hosted? So mine's at HTTPS forum dot And it asks for an API key found or a, um, found on your forum at admin API keys. Uh, if you haven't created an API, click generate master, right? So you're going to go to your forum. You've got to be logged in as admin API. Right, so as it says, if you haven't created one, uh, generate a master API key, just click this button, and there's your API. I'm gonna copy it, I will regenerate it afterwards. I mean, I don't know who's gonna type that in, I wanna steal my comments. I'm gonna drop that in, and paste. And it's gonna say, what is your publishing username? The default discourse username, which WordPress will post so if you've got, uh, I haven't got on my forum anything other than my user, right? Yeah, so if you've got like a, a company username that you want to post from, use that. Uh, or if you if it's just yours, use yours. So what I'm saying is if this was a happy me forum, I might have a user that was happy me. And the general blog posts or the updates, I would send to happy me. But there's going to be two things you're going to do anyway. So I'm going to change this to Paul and say, Post anything new as Paul and save. Now when it comes to publishing, default category is going to pull in the categories. I'm going to, you know, I haven't got many categories set up because I've just done it for this training, this forum. I don't, you know, people don't want to talk to me on a forum. Uh, I'm hoping that on your forum you get more interaction. But, but you've probably got a, uh, you've probably got a, a niche that people want to talk about. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you post it to this. Um, discourse forum uh, category, right? So I'm just going to pick, you pick whatever category you want as a default. It doesn't automatically go there. Uh, display subcategories, you might want to tick that if you've got subcategories. Force category upgrade, if you're doing a lot of updates to your discourse forum with extra categories, you might want to do that. Uh, allow post authors to add tags, you could do that. Uh, use full content. So what will happen is It'll, um, uh, yeah, you can only do this once, so I'm going to do it. If you tick it, it shows the whole post. So if you write a blog post, uh, I'll leave it unticked and I'll come back to it. Uh, if you un if you leave it unticked, it'll do an excerpt and then see full post. There'll be a button and it'll jump to it. Um, so we'll do it twice. I'll show you that button. Uh, add a link to WordPress post in, add a link to the WordPress post in your topic list. Uh, you can do it's up to you these are all up to you now auto publish mark all new posts to be published the setting can be overridden on new post screen 
So when you publish, you might not want to do this because it will just dump it straight on your discourse. Uh, but if you don't publish something until it's 100% done, you can do it. Uh, force publish, send email notification. Uh, I would say automatically publish all new posts and updates. Posts will be published to the default discourse. This cannot be overridden. You may may or may not want to do that. If you've got something that's automating posts to your to your YouTube, to, to your WordPress website, you might want to automate a forced publish. Uh, but that's going to be ask questions about that. Don't just dive into that. Send an email if something fails. That's up to do with that one. Email address failure. Uh, add what type of post. So I've got different types. You want to highlight whatever you're going to whatever you're going to publish. Uh, do not display discourse name field. Remove the discourse name field from your WordPress user profile. Uh, I don't know if you have to do that or not. It's up to you. Uh, commenting. Use discourse to comment on discourse published post. For discourse put comments to appear on the WordPress site, you must select the setting. So you got to turn it on. Uh, add a join discourse link underneath posts that are published. You might want to turn that on. Cache, cache disc discourse comment. So there's all different um, options. I'm not going to go for them all because you don't need to tick half of them. Existing comments, uh, yeah. I'm not going to drag this video out too long because you don't need to. Um, you don't need to worry so much. Discourse link, right? So here's the link. The link uh, discourse used after the start discussion, continue. So what it's saying is it'll say start the discussion at forum.paulnicholson.com, right? So you can change this to Paul's forum or my forum. It's my website, right? Condition continue discussion at Paul's forum. Join discussion at Paul's forum. Whatever that says, right? Join, join, comment, comment, all replies, replies, blah, blah, blah. You can basically edit and change anything you want so now when I go to my site if I go to this which is a written blog I can go to edit my post and it'll have a box up the top here publish to discourse so you can't go back and publish what's already been done manu uh, automatically you can do it one at a time uh, so you can create a new topic or link to something existing publish post to discourse and then I'm going to say where, right? So let's put it in site feedback, for instance, and update, right? Now, it's gone to discourse, but I need to come back. I don't have comments turned on on my blog, just because I can't be bothered with the spam, right? Here's the discourse forum link, though. If I go here now, in the site feedback, I've got golf and therefore, which is that post, uh, golf and life, blah, 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 blah. And now I've got show full post, and then it opens the full post. But you can check option. The option was to show it all, or just show a just show a partial part of it, right? But you can see that I've posted to discourse from my WordPress, and there's a link here saying uh, that's the link to the original post. What I need to do on my um, on my theme though is show comments if they're not uh, comments are off so I'm going to turn comments on uh, and I may have to allow comments so I'm guessing that if you want comments to show you've allowed comments but <clears throat> let's just go back in and see where we're at so I'm going to go back here and at the bottom here now it says start the discussion at Paul's forum right so this is where WordPress comments would show if there wasn't anything there. But if I go here and reply, uh, nice post, Paul. Uh, keep them coming. Reply. Yeah, man. Uh, not enough. Yeah, man. I might, might even be upset with me putting that because it just looks like a repeat. I will try to right if I go back to uh, this now and refresh it see how it doesn't show comments there they will show up in you know it might take a little bit of time to sync but I'll come back in a sec when that's gonna post so let me quickly show you as well like now we've turned that on I've posted to 
this this blog this blog post um and the problem it, a little bit is that your older posts will now have will now have the your wordpress comment box open until you go in and publish it to discourse the older posts are not going to get manually sent right so you now you add the uh, the pull up the post you go back to the post and it will change it to start the discussion at, at Paul's forum right instead of showing um, uh, I can click on anything else instead of showing the WordPress box so every single one of your old posts you will need to go through and publish or you're going to have an active WordPress commenting system on your um, box but that's up to you let me show you what happens on a new post because you're going to need if you've got multiple users um, new post new post and then go discourse publish view post this post is linked all right which is happy with me because i guess i'm the only user if there was a new user if i go to uh, my user what you'll find is there's going to be um, do, 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 do. Oh, our discourse username because mine's set up for diff default if you were to put a new user in so if you had a new author uh, I can't really do it easily it will just say to you in that field it's not been filled out so if you want to put post uh, to a different author um, can't show you easily so I'm not gonna but you'll get what I'm saying if you've got multiple authors then this field needs to be filled out so when they publish a new post it goes down on discourse as though as their post do you get hopefully you get what I mean um, otherwise it'll go through as the default post that you set up in discourse here right uh, here right so that's why it went through as me but if you've got left that if you've left that field blank in your user profile then when you come to use it it'll say do you want us to post as Paul or whatever your default is um, nothing's been set up in your profile so you just go to your user you know edit your profile and add in that discourse name uh, if I put Steve or something right so now when I go back and add new post new post to publish I get an error there has been an error publishing to this post to this course and the reason is that in that user that I've just changed um, there isn't a Steve on discourse that's what it's saying right so if I go back to my profile users your profile change it back to oh no here look discourse name change it back to Paul update profile go back to my post let me trash this first one uh, edit publish now it's gone look because there is a connected username and it's gone to there right it's gone to that post so what else uh what else what else oh yeah let's go back to this post see if they've turned up down the bottom okay yeah so there now are the replies so we've replaced your wordpress comments with replies in discourse obviously the profiles click to profiles continue the discussion jumps to there uh, let's just jump back and tick that um that publishing box for all content because I said I was going to write uh, first category update use f full post content so I'm gonna tick that so we know before it was it was showing um, where's the post yeah it was showing 
uh, you know, an, an excerpt and then show full post. So if you want, if you are a blog writer and you want it to show all of it, or if you if you want to show all of it for whatever, it'll struggle on embedded stuff. Let me find a full post. Pissing about in the trees. Edit post. Just going to send it to that discourse training. This time, it should show the whole post. So there you go. So it shows the full the full post. I don't know why it still says show full post, but. So it shows everything rather than, as we said, the other one showing the excerpt and then show full post. So that was just that tick box, wasn't it? Discourse, publishing, uh, use full content. So I hope that helps. I know I flew through it. It's pretty easy to set up. It, you know, you put in your forum, your API, you're going through your settings and thinking about, you know, what do I need to do? If you've updated some categories, tick this box and save, and it'll show up. Uh, do you want me to show you exactly what I mean? If I create a new category, new category, um, WordPress, show me. All right, new category. And if I if I go here and I refresh this page, if I untick that. It won't show, right? It doesn't show. It just does this one time. You have to manually do this. Save options. And that will force it to look. And now it's there. Look, WordPress show me. So this every time you do refresh, it'll be this will be unticked. And you've got to manually do it um, if you've created new characters. So you, you might just want to reforce those uh, categories across. But I hope that helped. WordPress is funky because there's so many different versions on your your website versus uh, I mean different plugins different themes different way things work but the plugin will work it will replace your WordPress um, comments it'll work in tandem with them as well if you want both to work uh, but any questions ask in the training ask in this YouTube video uh, I know I've flown through it and it may have been confusing but just ask the questions okay cheers